Yo, what's up guys, this is Katie Cloudy and it's been about a month since I uploaded the video on AOSP 8.0 ROM which brings Android Oreo to the Nexus 5 and if you watched it, you can definitely tell that it's not particularly usable and even after a couple of updates in the course of a month, the stability of the ROM isn't particularly on point. But then, we have this ROM out of nowhere. This is the unlegacy Android project which strives to bring the latest versions of Android into old unsupported devices. And for the next 5, it aims to provide a clean AOSP stock experience for Android Oreo and spoiler alert, it does a really good job. Now shout out to the developer Amasis for being hard at work on this ROM. And yeah, let's just jump into the traditional ROM review format. Installation, features and stability. Now the installation is a pretty tricky part over here. Now an issue with this and other kind of AOSP based ROMs is that the GApp zip will just not install immediately but there is indeed a workaround which thanks to my buddy Samit who discovered it is just flash the gapps zip 2, 3 or maybe 4 times and then boot into the ROM. It takes a couple of tries to get it right but hopefully you'll be fine. Now let's get into the features. This is literally pure stock Android 8.0 so you can get all the audio good stuff like the revamped notification shade, the cleaned out settings app, notification dots the color coded music notification which is my personal favorite and a whole bunch of other stuff and i made a dedicated video just covering android os features so you can watch that for more info linked below in 4k so however one feature which didn't really seem to work is the adaptive icon setting now with android audio you should be able to choose what shaped icons do you want on your home screen and it just doesn't show up over here so that means you will have to stick to these ugly square icons which is not really a big deal but it would have been good if you had the option. Now stability. Performance on this ROM has been really good just typical Nexus 5 stuff and there have been occasional lags and slowdowns but I guess that's okay for a phone which is about to start its fifth year and same goes for the battery life as well. Two and a half hours of screen on time at max of the charger on a single charge. Now indeed this ROM is not perfect. There are just a few issues like the flashlight torches just disabled won't work. I don't know what's the matter since it works perfectly in the camera app. But apart from that we have the LTE mobile data which also doesn't seem to work due to some issue with setting up the APN. You can set it up manually and theoretically it should fix it but it isn't a huge deal for me I'm mostly on Wi-Fi. And lastly the AOSP keyboard which comes built in it just dies when you try to input a number so there's that definitely tall Gboard the moment you get the play store but yeah overall this rom delivers a pretty sweet audio experience really proficiently and definitely gets a thumbs up from me so go ahead you can flash it without any worries this is indeed daily driver material and although this isn't as stable as something like paranoid android or dark rom this is basically the best chance you have if you want to try out Oreo on your Nexus 5. But yeah, that basically wraps it up. Thank you so much for watching. That's been it from my side. And if you enjoyed the video, definitely consider liking and subscribing. And yeah, catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.